Here's the thing. We've seen comets, and we've even seen interstellar objects, but we've never seen one light up the X-ray sky like this. This is XRISM's first X-ray image of three I atlas, and what it reveals shouldn't be possible. That bright core at the center is expected. Everything around it is not. CRISM picked up an X-ray halo nearly 400,000 kilometers wide, basically Earth to Moon distance, and an even larger diffuse structure stretching close to 3 million kilometers across. For an interstellar comet, that's absurd. No model predicts this kind of energy output. And look at the shape. It isn't aligned with the sun the way normal solar wind interactions are. It's asymmetric, displaced, and extended in directions that shouldn't produce X-rays at all. So right out of the gate, this first X-ray snapshot is telling us something loud and clear. 3i Atlas isn't behaving like a comet. It's acting like a high energy source, and no one knows why. Now here's where things get even stranger. This map shows 3i Atlas drifting across the entire X-ray sky, and for a brief window, every telescope looking in its direction saw something. Maxi on the ISS, E. Rosetta archival frames, even the optical field matches the exact patch of sky where the X-ray bump appeared. That shouldn't happen. Interstellar comets aren't bright enough to stand out against the Milky Way's X-ray background. Yet 3i Atlas popped out as a real, trackable source. Bright enough that you can literally trace its path from July to late November. What this means is simple. Whatever is powering this object is energetic enough to leave a signature on instruments designed to study black holes, neutron stars, and hot gas near the galactic center. A comet shouldn't show up on a map like this, but 3i Atlas did. And that pushes the whole story into territory no one expected. Here's the part that really shouldn't exist. When the team broke down the X-ray signal from 3i Atlas, they expected noise, maybe a faint bump from reflected solar photons, nothing more. But this spectrum tells a different story. Look closely. The data aren't following the background model. They're rising above it, and not randomly. Those peaks line up almost perfectly with the energies of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. That means the comet isn't just glowing, it's emitting X-rays in a pattern tied to real atomic processes. Now, normally, this happens when charged solar wind particles slam into a dense cometary atmosphere. But 3i Atlas isn't behaving like a normal comet. It's small, it's moving fast, and it shouldn't have enough gas around it to create this kind of structured X-ray emission. Yet the signature is there, clear as day. So either this object is shedding material far more efficiently than anyone thought, or there's a physical mechanism at work that doesn't fit the playbook we use for solar system comets. And that's why this detection is so disruptive. It doesn't just show that 3i Atlas emits X-rays. It shows that its emission is chemically structured, and we still don't know why. So here's where we're left. 3i Atlas wasn't supposed to have a visible jet, it wasn't supposed to carve a 3 million kilometer X-ray footprint through space. And it definitely wasn't supposed to produce clean elemental signatures that don't match any standard model. But it did. And now the question hanging over every new observation is simple. What kind of interstellar object are we actually looking at? Is this extreme behavior just the outer edge of comet physics? Or are we seeing something we've never classified before? I'd love to hear what you think. Drop your take in the comments, even the wild ones. And if you want YouTube to keep showing you these deep dive updates the moment they break, hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who's been following 3i Atlas as closely as you have. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.